Welcome to the ThinApp 47 webinar. My name is Tina De Benedictus, and I'm a technical marketing manager for Enterprise Desktop at VMware. We're going to talk about the changes in ThinApp 47. The primary feature of ThinApp 47 is the integration of ThinApp virtualized Windows applications with the Horizon Application Manager. Why is this integration important? Horizon Application Manager is an enterprise-level, cloud-based application catalog and reporting mechanism that provides secure, managed user access to SaaS and federated web applications and to ThinApp virtualized Windows applications, all with a single sign-on using Windows Active Directory credentials. Prior to this offering, you could deploy ThinApp packages only with your current application deployment solutions or on virtual desktop infrastructures such as VMware VUE. Now VMware gives you one platform where you can entitle, deploy, and monitor ThinApp packages in an environment designed for the enterprise. Now you can deploy your ThinApp packages in Horizon, a platform that provides dynamic entitlement of users and groups to ThinApp packages. You can change entitlement to the application without rebuilding your ThinApp package. You have single sign-on access to a unified menu of virtualized Windows applications, SaaS applications, and federated web applications. You have a management interface to entitle your users to ThinApp packages and to deploy the packages. And you have monitoring and reporting choices to help you respond to any authentication issues and to be aware of application launches and closures. This is all from the same Horizon web interface. With ThinApp integration into Horizon Application Manager, VMware is providing a single vendor solution for the creation and deployment of ThinApp virtualized Windows applications. With Horizon deployment of ThinApp packages comes unified technical support and participation in the reliability and depth of functionality of the VMware suite of products. With ThinApp 4.7, Horizon Application Manager now provides ThinApp virtualized applications to users, in addition to SaaS and federated web applications. Horizon Application Manager includes a VMware hosted cloud service called the Horizon Service. Also part of the Horizon product is an on-premise Horizon connector, as you see in the diagram. It's a virtual appliance that communicates to the cloud service about a couple of things. It communicates about ThinApp packages stored on-premise on a Windows application share or ThinApp repository, and it communicates about the local Active Directory information about users and groups. The connector queries the Active Directory for information about users and groups and securely transfers that information to the Horizon Cloud Service. And the connector also examines the ThinApp repository gathers information about ThinApp packages, and places that metadata on the Horizon service. The packages themselves are not copied out to the service. The administrator makes decisions about which users and groups can access the ThinApp packages and enters that entitlement information into the administration portal of the Horizon service. These are the Horizon components. We have just seen a diagram with most of these components represented. The Horizon Agent is another component. The Horizon Agent is installed on each user desktop and performs some of the most important functions in the Horizon environment. The Horizon Connector is a lightweight virtual appliance that you install on-premise for Active Directory synchronization and secure authentication of users to ThinApp packages. The connector is in OVA format and you need a compatible hypervisor, such as VMware vSphere, to run the virtual appliance. The connector is the interface between Active Directory and the ThinApp repository on-premises and the Horizon service in the cloud. The Horizon connector extracts user and group information from the Active Directory and synchronizes that information to the cloud-based Horizon service. It also connects to the Windows Application Share, or ThinApp Repository, where ThinApp packages are stored, gathers package metadata, and synchronizes that metadata to the Horizon service. The connector can operate in the demilitarized zone, inside the LAN, or both. This diagram illustrates the functions of the connector and also the actions of the Horizon agent and the user on the endpoint device. 
the agent downloads the NAT packages from the repository to the user desktop. It also communicates with the administration portal to install the Horizon agent if the agent's missing on the user device. The agent also checks with the administration portal about entitlements. The user on their endpoint device connects to the user portal to launch or activate the NAT virtualized applications. Let's discuss each component in a little more detail. The Horizon service is an authentication hub to manage user access to SaaS applications, federated web applications, and ThinApp virtualized Windows applications in the cloud. This diagram focuses on virtualized Windows applications. Active Directory users or groups are entitled to applications. Groups can also be defined in Horizon and then entitled. The Horizon service has two parts, as you see in this diagram, the user portal and the administration portal. The user portal is sometimes just referred to as the Horizon Application Manager. Users can access applications, including ThinApp packages, from the user portal. The other part of the Horizon service is the Administration Portal, or Horizon Administration. The administrator manages users, groups, and applications from the Administration Portal. In addition, the administrator can monitor usage and run reports. Every organization has its own URL on the multi-tenant, cloud-based Horizon service that is hosted by VMware. Windows applications that have been converted to ThinApp packages are stored in a Windows application share or network file share on-premises. This is also called the ThinApp repository. Your Active Directory is a necessary component for Horizon Application Manager. The Horizon Agent is a Windows service that runs on users' desktops. For a user to run a Horizon-enabled ThinApp package, the Horizon Agent must be installed on their desktop. Whenever a user tries to launch a Horizon-enabled ThinApp package, the ThinApp runtime checks with the Horizon Agent for entitlement to launch that package. The Horizon Agent has a number of functions. It downloads the ThinApp package to the user desktop. It registers the application to the user's machine, which means it sets up application shortcuts to the Start menu and desktop, establishes file type associations, and so on. The agent also provides users with system tray access to some Horizon application functions. The agent populates the desktop VMware Horizon Applications folder with application shortcuts and the agent communicates with the Horizon service to get ThinApp package entitlement information. By default, the agent checks with the service every 60 minutes. Entitlement information is stored in a local cache on the user's desktop, so that if the user tries to launch an application, entitlement checking is instantaneous. During Horizon agent installation, the Horizon system tray object is installed, as you see in this picture. This is an overview of the user experience in Horizon Application Manager with Horizon-enabled ThinApp packages. The user logs into the Horizon Service User Portal with their username and an activation code given to them by the Horizon Administrator. The User Portal homepage displays available SaaS and federated web applications and ThinApp virtualized Windows applications, as you see here. The ThinApp packages on the User Portal homepage are those that have been downloaded to the user desktop for use. If the user does not see an application they need, they click the Application Catalog button on their home page. The Application Catalog on the User Portal lists the applications that the user is entitled to. If an application was set to User Activated by the Administrator, the user can decide if they want the application downloaded to their desktop. Other applications will already have been automatically activated and downloaded to the user desktop if the administrator set them to automatic. Users can activate any application they see in their application catalog. They simply click the Activate button next to an application and the application is downloaded to their desktop and added to the home page of their user portal. When the Horizon agent downloads the application to the user's desktop, it is placed by default in a folder called VMware Horizon Applications. At the same time as the download, 
The agent also registers the application for the user, which means it creates desktop and start menu shortcuts and icons, sets up file type associations, and so on. Then the user can access activated applications from the user portal homepage as well as from desktop shortcuts. After a thin app package is downloaded to the user desktop, the user can launch the application in several ways. They can click the application from the home page of the Horizon Service User Portal, or they can right-click the Horizon System Tray icon and select Open Horizon Folder to open the VMware Horizon Applications folder, which is the default location where the agent places the applications that it downloads. Or they can open an application shortcut in the Start menu or on the desktop, or they could open a document that has its file type associated with the ThinApp package. This diagram illustrates the workflows related to ThinApp packages in Horizon. It shows the downloading of ThinApp packages to user desktops, the listing of ThinApp packages on the service, the entitlement synchronization between the service and the agent, and entitlement checking from the ThinApp runtime in the package through the agent and its offline policy or entitlement cache. When the user activates a ThinApp package or the application is automatically activated by Horizon, the Horizon agent downloads the ThinApp package from the repository to the user desktop and registers it there. Each time the user tries to launch a ThinApp package, the ThinApp runtime checks with the Horizon agent for entitlement. The agent checks entitlement by consulting its local cache of entitlement information. This local policy cache is filled with entitlement information that the agent downloads on a scheduled basis from the Horizon service. Entitlement may have changed since the last time the user accessed the application, so this ongoing check is essential. In parallel, the Horizon connector constantly checks the ThinApp repository, or Windows Application Share, for new or deleted ThinApp packages. The connector passes the metadata about these ThinApp packages to the service. Downloaded ThinApp packages can also be used offline when the user is disconnected from the network and the Horizon service. Entitlement to the application may change while the user is offline. They can continue to use the package until the Horizon agent is able to check with the service for changed entitlement. The default length of time that a user can launch a ThinApp package and not reconnect to the network is 30 days. If the user does not reconnect to the network, the ThinApp package expires and they cannot launch it. These are the major steps to integrate ThinApp packages with Horizon Application Manager. You enable ThinApp packages for use in Horizon. You create a ThinApp repository and copy Horizon-enabled ThinApp packages. You install and configure the Horizon connector. Then you set up entitlement to ThinApp packages in the Horizon service and you install the Horizon agent on user desktops. In the end, you can monitor and report with Horizon Application Manager. For a ThinApp package to be managed by Horizon Application Manager, you need to enable the ThinApp package for Horizon during the setup capture process. Enablement is as simple as selecting one checkbox and optionally filling in the URL for the Horizon service. You see these in this screenshot. In ThinApp 4.7, the Setup Capture Wizard is updated to include a new Manage with VMware Horizon Application Manager option. The Horizon agent must be installed on the user's desktop for the user to launch a Horizon-enabled ThinApp package. The Organization URL field in the Manage with Horizon window of the Setup Capture Wizard allows you to supply your organization's Horizon service URL. If the Horizon agent is not installed on the desktop when the user tries to launch the ThinApp package, this URL leads to the Horizon service, which will initiate agent installation. By entering a value in this field during setup capture, the administrator facilitates the automation of the Horizon agent installation. Note that the Group's Permissions window of setup capture is skipped if you choose to enable the ThinApp package for Horizon. This is because Horizon manages entitlement of users to the ThinApp package. In Horizon, you can set up entitlement of Active Directory users or groups 
or of a horizon group that you create to the ThinApp package. When you advance through Setup Capture after enabling a ThinApp package for Horizon, you will also notice that the MSI package creation is automatically enabled for you. This is for possible future use in Horizon. The MSI package is created in the bin folder of the ThinApp project, along with the exe and dat files. You will notice three new parameters in package.ini for ThinApp 4.7. The app ID equals gen ID entry in package.ini causes ThinApp to assign a random GUID to the ThinApp package. The GUID is used by Horizon to identify the package in the Horizon ThinApp repository and to check entitlement. The GUID provides a unique identifier that can be used across all of the Horizon programs and services touching the ThinApp package. The notification DLLs parameter specifies the DLL Horizon plugin.dll that the thin app runtime calls to check with the Horizon agent for entitlement to run the application. The Horizon org URL is your organization's Horizon service URL, which you have the option of specifying in Setup Capture. In this example, a generic URL is entered: https://customerdomain.horizonmanager.com. You would enter your own organization URL for this parameter in Setup Capture. The Horizon service at this URL will initiate Horizon agent installation if the agent is not already installed when the user tries to launch the ThinApp package. If you have a ThinApp package captured and built prior to ThinApp 4.7 and you want to use that package with Horizon Application Manager, you need to recapture and then rebuild the application with ThinApp 4.7. The ThinApp 4.7 capture process has some internal changes. To integrate those changes, you need to recapture your application. If you simply add the new ThinApp 4.7 parameters to the package.ini file for the pre-4.7 package and then rebuild with ThinApp 4.7, the package may not work as expected. If you both recapture and rebuild the pre-4.7 ThinApp package, you ensure that the package will be fully enabled for Horizon. The Horizon ThinApp repository, or Windows Application Share, holds the Horizon-enabled ThinApp packages. The Horizon connector communicates to the Horizon service metadata about the ThinApp packages on the file share. Before you set up entitlement to and management of the ThinApp packages in Horizon, you must create the file share for the ThinApp packages and place the packages there. Each ThinApp package stored on the file share must have its own named folder to hold the exes and dat file. Create a folder structure for the applications on the file share as follows. Backslash backslash server backslash share name backslash vert app name one and the same for another virtual application. Label its subfolder vert app name two and so on. For each ThinApp package you want in Horizon, copy the exe and dat files from the ThinApp project's bin directory to the named application subfolder on the ThinApp repository. Horizon currently uses only exe-based virtualized applications. The Horizon connector is the interface between the Active Directory and the ThinApp repository, or Windows Application Share, on-premises, and the Horizon service in the cloud. Installing and configuring the connector enables it to communicate with the service, the Active Directory, and the ThinApp repository or Windows Application Share. The Horizon connector is a virtual appliance that you download from the VMware Download Center to your hypervisor. You start the connector virtual appliance on the ESX or ESXi host. For the initial connector configurations, you use the connector virtual appliance interface, which is a command line interface. The connector operating system is SUSE Linux, and you can configure it with the connector CLI. The connector is assigned an IP address through the CLI, and then you can access the connector through the web interface. To step through the connector setup wizard, you log into the connector web interface. The setup wizard guides you through configuration of the connection and communication between the connector, the Horizon service, 
the Active Directory, and the Windows Application Share where the ThinApp packages reside. The configuration steps of the Setup Wizard are in the left navigation pane as you see in this picture. Some of these steps are essential for Horizon to host ThinApp virtualized Windows applications, and others are optional. Let us discuss some of the most important windows of the Connector Setup Wizard. The Windows Application window of the Connector Setup Wizard is required for users to be able to access ThinApp virtualized Windows applications. You see this window here in the screenshot. In this window, you enable Horizon access to ThinApp packages, give the path to the Windows application share, and schedule the frequency of synchronization between the connector and the service for information about the ThinApp packages. A series of windows in the connector setup wizard help you to configure the connection to the Active Directory and to select the users and groups you want to synchronize up to the Horizon service. In the directory window, you point to the Active Directory server, as you see in this screenshot. In the Select Users window of the Setup Wizard, you specify which Active Directory users to synchronize between the connector and the service. In the Select Groups window of the Setup Wizard, you configure the Active Directory group information to be synchronized between the connector and the service. In the Configure Scheduling window of the Connector Setup Wizard, you configure the frequency of synchronization between the connector and service for Active Directory information. The Push to Horizon window in the Setup Wizard summarizes the Active Directory information to be sent to the Horizon service. Clicking the Save and Continue button pushes the Active Directory user and group information up to the Horizon service. After you click Save and Continue and the synchronization succeeds, you are given a choice. Either log into Horizon or view or edit connector settings. If you choose log into Horizon, you proceed to the Horizon service for configurations and setting up entitlements. If you choose view or edit connector settings, you refine or revisit connector configurations. Push to Horizon is the final step of the connector setup wizard. You will want to test the connector setup before proceeding to other configurations. After you complete the connector setup wizard, you can revisit many of the configurations through the connector web interface advanced tab. Some windows of the setup wizard are not available unless you reset the connector and then reconfigure it. An example of a window that you can revisit is the directory sync window you see pictured here. You can reconfigure the transfer of information from the Active Directory to the service through this directory sync window. If you click Edit Directory Sync Rules, you can proceed to the equivalents of the Select Users, Select Groups, and Push to Horizon windows in the Setup Wizard. After a couple of other settings, you're ready to entitle users and groups to ThinApp packages. You log into the Horizon service to manage entitlements. The Horizon service has many functions. The main one is to contain entitlements of users and groups to applications. You can leverage Active Directory groups or create independent Horizon groups to specify who is entitled to use ThinApp packages. Horizon entitlements are dynamic. You can change entitlement to packages without having to rebuild ThinApp packages because entitlement setup is in the Horizon service. After you change an entitlement in the service, the Horizon agent pulls the change, and when a user tries to launch the application for which you changed the entitlement, the new entitlement applies. The Horizon agent must be installed on the user desktop for ThinApp packages to run. If a user tries to run a Horizon-enabled ThinApp package without a local Horizon agent, they receive an error message. Depending on where the user tries to launch the application from, the error message looks different. On the left is the error message if the user tries to launch a ThinApp package from the Horizon user portal. On the right is the error message from a desktop shortcut. The user can access the Horizon service user portal without having the Horizon agent installed on their desktop 
when the user opens the user portal and tries to launch an entitled app, thin app package, the Horizon service checks for a local Horizon agent installed on the user desktop. If none is found, the Horizon service downloads the Horizon agent installer for the user to run. A user must have administrative rights and be connected to the Horizon service from inside the enterprise network to run the agent installation. The Horizon service prompts the user through the agent installation. After the agent is installed, it runs automatically as a service on the user's desktop. The administrator can use the Dashboard and Reports tabs in Horizon Administration to monitor activity and run reports. Administrators can track and report on user and administrator activities, failed authentications, application launching and closure, application entitlements, and users, groups, and roles. This screenshot is a view through the Dashboard tab. You can see a listing of entitlements that the administrator has been setting up. This is the Reports tab view in the Horizon Service Administration Portal. You can see the possible reports to run. Each build of a ThinApp package enabled for Horizon generates a unique GUID for the package through the app ID equals gen ID package.any parameter setting. If you place an updated ThinApp package in the repository, you must set up new entitlements to that unique package. Entitlements to the new package pertain only to the new package, and entitlements to the prior package pertain only to the prior package. Because ThinApp packages are downloaded to local desktops, users can still use the prior version of an application as long as Horizon retains the entitlement to those packages. The strategy for updating a ThinApp package that is managed by Horizon is to replace the prior ThinApp package with an updated version and set up entitlements to that new version. To remove access for the prior version, you can remove all entitlements to the prior package or remove the application from the Horizon database. It's easiest to remove entitlements to the old package so that users are refused the ability to launch the application. You may wish to allow users to use both versions of a package for a while. If you do not replace the prior package but simply add the updated package to the repository, Horizon retains the entitlements to the previous package, and users can continue to use both the previous package and the updated one. Entitlements pertain to a specific application ID. Therefore, neither AppSync nor side-by-side -side updating of ThinApp packages is supported in Horizon for this release. What about security of your information in the Horizon Cloud Service? The on-premise Horizon Connector collects information about Active Directory users and groups and about ThinApp packages and transmits that information to the Horizon service in the cloud. The ThinApp package information is metadata only, icon, application name and identifier, and path to the package in the ThinApp repository. The ThinApp packages themselves never leave the repository, and the Horizon service communicates with the connector, not directly with the ThinApp file share. Sensitive Active Directory information is stored encrypted on the connector. The connector does not send passwords up to the Horizon service in the cloud. Selected Active Directory user attributes are synchronized with the Horizon service. SAM account name, first name, last name, email address, and object GUID. Group names and grouped object GUIDs are sent to the service. Here's a list of additional resources. These resources include TechPubs documents, white papers, community discussions, YouTube videos, and blog entries. Thank you for tuning in to this ThinApp 4.7 What's New webinar.